When it comes to screening for cancer, many people overestimate the benefits and are unaware of the harms of testing. The American College of Physicians has new advice on when to start, with what test, and how often to screen for five common cancers. The American College of Physicians is very interested in making sure that testing is done at the right time, at the right interval, and with the right test. ACP's advice for screening average risk adults without symptoms for breast, colorectal, ovarian, prostate, and cervical cancer is published in Annals of Internal Medicine and is based on an analysis of recommendations from several major physician organizations. There was great consensus among the organizations that looked into uh, screening for uh, these five cancers. Uh, this will be impactful information for both physicians and their patients to provide a shared decision-making discussion that we think will be very helpful. Various screening strategies exist for each of the cancers in the paper. ACP encourages physicians to implement a high-value care screening strategy that focuses on tests that improve health, avoid harms, and eliminate wasteful practices. Overly intense screening can sometimes lead to overdiagnosis and lead to overtreatment particularly for diseases that may not ever or for a very long period of time have any impact to a particular patient. ACP defines high-value care as the delivery of services providing benefits that make their harms and costs worthwhile. An excellent example of a high-value care screening would be one for colon cancer in those between the age of 50 and 75. We know that fecal occult blood testing of stool uh, can provide a significant amount of information and that is of high value in terms of detecting or potentially treating colon cancer. So that's a very high value test. One that is of less value or what we refer to as lower value would be screening women for cervical cancer who no longer have a cervix. ACP advises all patients to discuss the benefits, harms, and risks for screening with their doctor. For more information, go to acponline.org.